All right, ladies, gentlemen, gamers, Chris Allen coming back at you today with another reaction. Hot off the heels off the Jeff Kaplan interview. So today we have the server changes that are coming to PB. And I'm here to look at them and discuss them while also applying for different jobs. But that's a different conversation. Let's see what's being changed. So change list, solidify Sivir as a premier AOE team fighting crit marksman, so long as she can stay in the fight, which is what every AD tries to do to stay in the fight. But they're really apparently going to try and push her AOE and team fight, and the word I like here the most, crit. So let's see. Passive is more feelable and synergizes better with attack speed. So as the attack speed goes up, I guess you get more move speed, which is good. Q usefulness now scales smoothly over game time. I don't really know what that means because I feel like the Q usefulness scales pretty quickly in terms of just wave clearing and doing damage. I never thought the Q was bad. I always max Q and I felt like it always did great damage. So I don't know about that. W bounces are more reliable source of DPS. For that, all they need to honestly do is just increase the range of the bounce or increase the damage. That's easy. E no longer holds Sivir's mana together. That is something that is accurate without her actually spell shielding abilities, which would force her to actually play unsafe because she needed mana. That makes sense because you really would run out of mana and you needed to like play stupid to get a spell shield proc off. So that's fine. R is more personally useful for Sivir than for teammates. That's fine by me. An AD's mentality should always be me first, everyone else for me, then everyone else. So that's good. So what are they doing? Adjusting base stats because she's barely been touched in Season 5. What are they doing? Mana is going down. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I thought they wanted E to no longer hold Sivir's mana together, but okay. Mana region's going down. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. AD's going down. Okay, this is just straight nerfing. AD per level's going up. Okay. Base HP is going down. Attack speed per level's going down. Are they not increasing her range? Her range is really low. Sivir has, if I believe correctly, 500 range or 525. I don't know if she has 550. I actually don't remember. I haven't played Sivir in a long time. And then passive, fleet of foot. Sharper move speed that synergizes with attack speed. So flat two seconds now decays. The flat move speed gain is from or it was 45 to 60 to now 55 to 70 but it decays over two seconds this seems worse i feel like decaying is worse than flat personally and i guess it scales up with attack speed because that's probably through level so there might be an additional attack speed scaling if that's the case then i understand it being decaying but as it stands now this doesn't look too good then the Q, more reliable Q1, slightly less reliable Q2. That's fine, so the initial hit is better. That's good. Damage scales linearly over game time. So the base damage is going down early, up later. Total AD ratio is going to 0.7, so it's getting nerfed. Cooldown is going up. Cast time is going down with attack speed, which is good. Scales with crit chance up to 100% bonus damage. That's really good. Okay, I was about to say, this is just a total nerf. But now that it scales up with crit chance, that's good. The cost is going down, which is great. The missile speed is going faster on the first uh, initial than on the way back it goes slower. That's fine. That's fine. Now let's check here. Wow, this is really small and I don't know why. Let's zoom in. Uh, buff. So the W. More reliable bounce is no longer infinite. Oh? So she's not as good at wave clearing? W now grants attack speed and synergizes with attack speed. Okay, so they're taking that off the ult. Thank God. I don't know why that was on the ult. That was honestly on the ult because the ult was so lackluster without it. So buff duration is going to 4 seconds. It gives attack speed. And there's only 7 bounces, so it can bounce to the whole minion wave, and that's it. So you need to kill some minions first, which is not too good. That can now bounce back to targets that have already been hit. That is huge. That is huge. What the hell? Total AD is 0.3, bounce range is 500, so they increase that, and then the cost is lowered later. That's really good. So it's basically like an old Ryze where it could bounce back and forth between the same enemies. In a team fight, that's actually going to be really big. Holy shit. That's huge. Okay, E. They removed the mana refund. Okay. So it now heals Sivir. Procs fleet of foot. And then it actually has a cost now. So is it still a spell shield, though? I mean, if it's a heal and it procs the passive, 
and it's a spell shield, that's really good. It does cost mana now, which kind of sucks. But, and the cooldown's going up. But that's really good. Holy shit. All right, so let's see the ult. So the ult, they removed the attack speed because they added it to W. That's fine. They removed the initial move speed burst. That's fine. The movement speed for Sivir plus all allies is 20 to 30. That's fine. The duration's going up. That's okay. Refreshes on recently damaged takedown. Auto attacks during the hunt reduce Sivir's basic ability cooldowns by 0.5. Okay, so she has a little bit of a reset mechanic, kind of, if you're ulting. So your team fight AoE damage is going to be a little bit better. Honestly, it's not huge, but her damage in a team fight is definitely going to go up. I think honestly the biggest change is the W. Maybe the Q, the Q is more of a number change. We'll have to play with it to see it. You kind of can't really feel it out unless you play it, but wow, the W change is really good. Overall, I'm pretty excited. Uh I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Uh, let's see if they fuck up Sivir.